Hi, my name is Alyssa Lyons, Sustainable Communities Director for the Green Building Alliance. And my name is Dr. Shanna Tharp Gillian, and I'm the Director of Research and Evaluation at the Homewood Children's Village. And Homewood Children's Village, in partnership with the Green Building Alliance, received $100,000 from the Kresge Dap Foundation to deliver work around climate change, health, and equity. Um, we're doing this to build climate resilient, healthy, and equitable cities. The idea is that we would develop an implementation plan describing how we will advance the work at the intersection of climate change, health and equity that we've abbreviated as CCHE. Our work was to provide potential solutions that improve climate resilience and equitably reduce health risks. Dr. G did that. Dr. G and I did that by creating a 12 week curriculum that we would engage residents on. And that curriculum serves to increase the knowledge of our, our residents, um, increasing knowledge amongst the community leaders, particularly around environmental health issues. But we do explore other social determinants of health that have an impact on the overall health equity of communities and individual residents. Moving forward, we also seek to expand partnerships. This curriculum brings in uh, speakers and partners th throughout the city and the county where they are committed to influencing funding policies and planning efforts um, that are supportive of equity. And then the idea at the end of our implementation grant is to advance policy action. These residents can create a work plan for policy action that advance climate resilient policies and reduce health risks for all. Twenty twenty was, um, dare I say, amazing. Uh, so Homewood Children's Village first addressed basic needs. We focused on over one thousand young people who had been getting their meals in their schools, but with schools closed, we were concerned that families would go hungry. We coordinated a series of volunteer and a network of support that has since delivered over 100,000 meals to children and families. Um, over 1,000 youth have been impacted by these supports, covering 580 families. Once the basic needs were basically addressed, we decided to get a, gain a deeper understanding of what the needs were within our community. We um, conducted uh, over 700 interviews and surveys with families to really understand the types of needs that they were experiencing. We were able to provide food, support for academic support, including technology and internet to connect families to online learning for their students. And during the summer, we launched what we uh, named Change Champions. It was a six week paid engagement for young people, leveraging our county and city funding for summer youth employment to connect children and young people to resources that gave them a broader understanding of the social determinants of health and also the UN SDGs. Keeping me inspired, honestly, Dr. G and anyone else is connecting with these residents on a, on a deeper level and really fueling their desire to know and learn and be better advocates for their communities. Um, even if some of them have heard some of these things before, I think the idea of learning it with other folks and digesting it in other ways has been really valuable to them. It's been nice hearing them ask for more information or where can I go to do this thing or I can't wait to see you guys next week and really showed up fully prepared to learn. I don't think we've had um, wavering numbers in participation throughout our curriculum this fall. It's been a steady up and up with our participation. And so seeing that um, makes it feel really good that we're delivering foundational based work to these communities. Education is the long game. And I think what we've created here can help be a, a, an integral piece of the long game, not just for these communities, but for the city of Pittsburgh. And we're hoping to have this curriculum and this piece of education integrate into what the city has going on and make it a part of their 
community planning processes and make it a priority to educate and pay residents to participate in getting consensus on their community. So I'm looking forward to the power that comes out of this for my residents and I'm looking forward to the progress that they'll feel inspired to move through on their own without this program, but because of this program that they're they're excited to move forward in their community. So I'm looking forward to just further deepening people's excited desire to learn. I think you really nailed it, Alyssa. When I think about what's inspiring me for this next year, it really does hinge on the responses we've received from the residents. We've gotten a lot of very positive feedback, unsolicited, that we've even heard second or third person um, through other partnerships that we have, where residents, when they're attending other meetings, are referencing the information and the education that they've gleaned in the 3-H Community Partners Project. We have enthusiasm at all generations. I think one of the other things that inspires me is seeing the Generation Z, the young folks at the 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds engaging with our baby boomers and having very constructive conversations, bringing their perspectives and not being afraid to, to share their ideas and their ideals, what they want to see their community become. It's been very inspiring to hear from the young people and also you know, there aren't very many opportunities where the elders and the young folks actually get to engage in positive and constructive ways where there's actual content that they are um, engaging around their communities. So that's really inspiring to me. I'm also very inspired by the, uh, the traction that I see this project getting. People are hearing about it at different levels of our of our community and of our region. Recently, the city of Pittsburgh is actually engaging in its first comprehensive plan for the city. And the planners who are basically gathering community input for that work were very impressed by the types of responses, the types of feedback that they received. You see, we opened up this opportunity to our 3-H uh, community partner residents and um, six of them were able to participate in that conversation. They talked about equitable development. They talked about some of the issues and challenges that they've been discussing in our sessions. And they were ab actually able to get this information into the hands of those who were going to be uh, synthesizing it for our community's official city plan. So those are some of the things that I'm, and I'm excited and inspired by.